PLP, which PLP means positive pressure low profile system that's only an inch from the inlet to the outlet. Over here is about two inches from here to here. Okay, you have a float in there that as the condensate comes in, the buoyancy up on the float um, that pushes the float up, the water pushes the float up and removes the ball on the bottom of the float and lifts the ball up off the seat. It'll handle zero to five inches of water pressure, zero to five inches plus of water pressure. Right now it's running at five inches and it, if I wanted to put more water in it, it It'll handle more than the water required to take a look at the water flow. I mean, it'll take a lot of water flow. I've got the valve shut off at this point. I can open it up and you can see how much it'll take. Plenty of water. But you wouldn't see that in normal operation. But we'll turn it down to about a half a gallon a minute or maybe even a gallon. Okay, we got a clean out plug here. We use a, a rubber plug because it's uh, easier to remove and replace. You don't need a special wrench to do it. This, this one, this is the smaller version of the two. The larger one is one and a half inch pipe size connections and it'll handle up to 40 inches of positive pressure. This is three quarters of an inch connection. It'll handle five plus inches of water column positive pressure. And this is a uh, clear PVC. You can see that where the water level is on the float. And I'm going to turn the water off now. And you'll see the water level go down on the float. And in just a minute, the ball was almost against the seat. And, and the water will eventually drain out. It may take uh, several minutes. The ball is not 100% sealed, it's less than 0.05 CFM leakage. We had a, these types of traps tested at UC Davis, California, and uh, they ran all of that floats through, and the, you can see there's no water coming through. Now the ball is seated, and essentially all the water is out. Now we'll turn the water back on, you can see it. <clears throat> float lift up off, off of the seat as the water is flowing. See, it's filling up now. It's going under the float. It's lifted the float. It's lifted the float up now. And the water is flowing full float. Now, if we were doing five inches with a, a, a regular trap, you would need probably 10 inches of feet trap to, to handle the same thing, which uh, is much larger than this two inches here, or one inch between the end of it and It's two inches tall, but anything above this one out here, you're only talking about this much height, an inch or so that you would want. So if you had positive pressure in your um, on a system that has an overflow drain, for instance, and you want to run, run the water down to the drain pan, this is ideal for that if it's positive pressure. It doesn't require any height. You just run it out of the overflow drain out and down into the pan under the unit. Uh, a lot of times the overflow drain is either capped or uh, it just runs a pipe from the overflow drain down to the uh, pan under the unit 
and all of that air is blowing out all the time at this time. And this makes me a convenient way to travel. 